Big time, fellas. Big time right here. I'm about to blow up and give these people a show. Who's ready? Come on, who's ready? Woo! Well, he's about to let them go into this game. And all he wants is a killer attitude, that killer instinct from everybody in that huddle. We're in the place they call the Air Canada Center in Toronto, Ontario. The home of the Raptors, where we're broadcasting live. And now we take a brief check at the matches. Our starting five for both teams. And one of the guys we'll be seeing in this one, James Harden. Well, one of the things that makes him special is his tendency to become red hot in just a matter of seconds. And you never know when it's coming. You know, all it takes is a shot or two, and he's rolling. And you know what else, Steve? Watching him run the pick and roll is like watching poetry in motion. I mean, this guy has that basic play down pat. He's unstoppable when he runs it. And back in Toronto following the road trip, it's the Raptors on their home court. And with the top record in the East, well, there's no doubt that this is a top caliber team. When you look at Toronto, they've had such a tremendous regular season. I mean, really exceeding even the most optimistic projections. Um, a bit of a surprise, actually. And with the playoffs right around the corner, they are really excited to see just how far they can go. They only get so many chances to win it all. And they have to be in that conversation. Now here's Rose. Jonas Valanciunas is unable to get his shot to go. And here's Ellis from beyond the arc. It's good. This time the assist from Rose. Oh, he's going to keep banging those home if you give him that much space. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Kevin, thank you. I caught up with Eric Spolstra, and of course, he said a big key for them will be trying to minimize Monte Ellis' impact offensively. He added, he's one of the best in the league in blowing by his defender and finishing at the rim. We've got to force him left, and then at the other end, make sure we go at him defensively and see that he expends some energy there as well. Kevin, defense not Ellis's strong suit seems like a smart plan. Thanks, Doris. Now here's Rose. He's coming off a 16-point game against Toronto. He was a factor defensively as well. He blocked two shots. I thought he changed several other. And it's out of bounds. The Raptors will take it the other way. First 130 gone here in the first quarter. Johnson sets the screen for Harden. Now the pass to Thomas. Johnson outside. He dishes it to Harden. Johnson with a screen on Ellis. Harden against Ellis. Harden's shot is good. Well, it was Toronto winning their last game against the Bulls in Chicago. And I thought, guys, they were the beneficiary of what was a, some lackluster defense being played against them. I agree with you. I mean, it was really shocking how many free runs to the hoop they got. Now here's Rose, averaging 19 points per contest. Lock is at three. And he gets the bucket. Took advantage of some shoddy defense there. They've got to at least get a finger on it. Harden gets a screen from Johnson. Johnson sets the screen for Harden. Here's Valanciunas. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Well, the pick worked really well there. Nice job taking it right to the 10 for the layup. Ellis with it. And it's Harden picking him up. Ellis kicks to Young. Rose. In low to Fareed. And he finishes nicely on the layup. Fareed's got his first points of the night. Superb assist there. He played the role of the maestro on that one. Johnson sets the screen for Thomas. And Fareed sends it back. And here's Rose. Entered on the wing. Thomas is on him. And Leonard gets it to go. Leonard's got his first points in this one. Red hot right out of the gates. Four for four shooting. Johnson with a screen on Ellis. Harden kicks to Payne. Back to Harden. Johnson with a screen on Ellis. It's Harden with the drive. Johnson dishes to Valanciunas. 
And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Here we are, two games left before the start of the playoffs. Let's take a look at the possible field. Look at Toronto. They continue to play strong basketball. It's not utterly dominant as the last part of the season grinds toward the playoffs. And it looks like, guys, they'll hold on to that number one spot the whole way there. And, of course, the Bulls. Two spots down. Looking at Toronto, they've continued their breakout season. I mean, they've showed tremendous promise thus far, and I'm looking for big things from this team. Yeah, Clark, as the postseason approaches, there's plenty of optimism, but as you know, the playoffs are a whole different animal. We'll see if they can continue that momentum. Leonard, no luck. Four or five to start the game. That's their first miss. Johnson attacking. Leads him in there. Here's Valanciunas. The shot's good on the assist by Johnson. Alan Jones has got seven points. See the way he times his passes so well. That's a great assist. Outside Rose to the middle. Leonard. And that is good. Leonard's got his second bucket. You know, they've scored several times already here in the first quarter down low. I like that. Yeah, me too, Clark. I think anytime you have success pounding the ball inside, you've got to continue to go to the well. Harden. Got it from 16 feet. Mid-range jumper becomes a, a pretty high percentage shot for him when he has that kind of space. And the Raptors making a change here. McGee's checked in. Bulls have gone five of six so far for the field to start out the game. Tips in the face. With two tips, whoever gets in the way. Not to mention Harden against Dallas. By the late, consider my ball demeanor. The icing on the cake. And the Bulls tack on two more. Thomas with the ball. He had 13 points in the win against Chicago. Thomas off a pick from Johnson. Thomas passes to Johnson. Kicks it out to Harden. Six to shoot. Deflects the pass. Stolen by Rose. And here's the fast break. Rose leading the way. The dish to Vucevic. Rebounded by McGee. Toronto trailing. They beat the Bulls during their last encounter in Chicago. And in winning that last game, guys, they drove the lane and attacked the basket very aggressively. It led to them drawing a lot of contact inside and causing some foul trouble for their opponent. Here's Rose. James Harden picking up that last basket. High post shot. And Vucevic picks the young. He passes to Ellis. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. Leonard attacking. Vucevic dishes to Leonard. Outside Rose. And stolen by Thomas. Harden the pass to Johnson. Feeds it to Payne. And the powerful one-handed slam. Yeah, nice fast break from start to finish, guys. Especially on the back end. I mean, he polished it off. Perfect. Vucevic setting the big for Rose. Shot off the screen. Dream for two points. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now. Johnson kicks to Vasquez. Johnson with a screen on Rose. Vasquez dishes to Johnson. Outside DeRozan. No good. And Chicago will go the other way with the ball. Outplayed in the previous game on their schedule, losing to the Raptors. And, you know, coming down the stretch in that game, they didn't have all the guys they would have liked on the floor because of the foul trouble they were in. And as a result, Steve, they had to back down a little bit so they wouldn't get themselves into even more foul trouble. So for Chicago right now, Derrick Rose is out there with Gordon. Then there's Kenneth Fareed. Then there's Chandler Parsons, and it's Wilcox in at the four spot. And let's now go to the sideline. We'll catch up here with Doris Burke. Doris? I have insanity in there last time out against the Bulls. Boy, was he tremendous. He picked up 10 points, and did he ever have active hands on defense? Stealing, blocks, and smoke were a part of his game that night. Another strong showing from him in what has become a habit. 
Thanks, Doris, for revisiting what was an astounding performance, Clark. It clearly was one of those games that when we look back on his career, this game will be right there among the best ever that he's played. Well, he was in the zone from the outset. It was just one of those games where he was feeling it. Everything was, was going his way, and, and he attacked, and that's what I like. Once he knew it was his night, he just attacked relentlessly. Now here's Rose. Screen by Fareed. Lock at six. Takes it out to Parsons. Here's the three. And the miss by Parsons. With the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be. Firmly in control of this game. Yeah, they have not let their guard down one bit in the paint. Now here's Ellis. Five points in the game. Parsons. He feeds it to Rose. Right side Rose. That's good. Rose has got six points. Toronto leading by eight. Rose with the double team. Johnson against Parsons. Johnson, the pass to Valanciunas. Good. Valanciunas has got his third basket of the night. These defenders look overmatched right now, especially inside. Yeah, you look at the numbers, 10 of the last 12 points have come from close range, so I agree. Now here's Ellis. 17 points in his last outing. Rose. Yes, and it's Ellis picking up the assist. Eight points for Derrick Rose. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. Here is Harden. He was coming off a 25-point game against Chicago. Yeah, guys, it seemed like he spent about half the game shooting free throws. So we credit him for his aggressive play. Now here's Johnson. They're leading by eight. From about 16, Thaddeus Young grabs the miss. Great defense there. You really have to challenge him at that range. Here's Ellis. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Well, Ellis is just a dynamic scorer, as we all know. A penetrator, uh, a lane runner. He's a guy who can absorb contact and transition and still finish off plays. Just one of the best perimeter players that we have in this league. He really is. He's always been a great scorer. He's been asked to take a lot of big shots. That's nothing new for him to have the ball in his hands with the game on the line. You never know. We might see another game winner here tonight. And it goes. That's good. And while we're thinking about him, did you guys catch his comments at the press conference after the last game? Guys, we always hear things about good teammates, and he certainly seems to be one of them. He has nothing but positive things to say about the rest of his team. Well, when you talk up your teammates as much as he does, it's going to pay off. I mean, they become more confident. They respect you. They appreciate you. And now, all of a sudden, it brings the team a little bit closer together. Here is Harden following the score by Derrick Rose. He kicks it to Vucevic. Stolen by McGee. Now, here's Thomas. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. McGee gets a screen from Johnson. Thomas kicks to Payne. The feed now to Hart. From outside, off the mark. Bulls trail by eight. Dishes it to Ellis. Back to Rose. the shot is good. Rose has got eight points in the quarter. And he's shaken off a poor first quarter shooting effort. He's really starting to turn it on now, guys. Thomas dishes to Johnson. Kicks to McGee. That's in coming off an assist from Johnson. Johnson's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Chicago's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Vucevic setting the pick for Rose. Inside to Vucevic. And it's Chicago scoring again. Vucevic. Boy, they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing that ball into the paint. Smash mouth basketball. <laughs> yeah, and it's a strategy that has served them well in this opening half, Clark. 
Now, here is Harden. Eight points for him. Fires the three. That's good. Harden's got 11 points. A large part of what they've been able to do here is centered around his offense. Bulls trail by nine. Now Rose. He's got 12. Pass to Ellis. Back to Rose. Ellis outside. Down to five on the shot clock. The Bulls keep it alive. Leonard the pass to Vucevic. And the jumper from down low is good. Vucevic has got four points now in the quarter. Another bucket in the paint. That's something they just have not been able to stop today. I think it's time to make some adjustments defensively, Clark. I mean, what they've got going right now is not getting it done. By himself, and Kawhi Leonard with the slam. Boy, I love it. Active hands on the steal, active feet on the fast break. And Clark Power on the dunk. And guys, this is just too close of a game to be giving the ball up like that and then failing to get back in transition. Now here's Payne, averaging 10 points per contest. Johnson kicks to Harden. McGee, Vucevic defending. McGee dishes to Thomas. Puts it up. And the shot no good, a bit short. Well, the shot was there for him, and he had to take it. I don't care if he didn't convert it. He's got to take that every time. Vucevic a screen on Johnson. Ellis, the pass to Vucevic. Ellis, good ball movement here by the Bulls. That one goes. Come on. Now, just a two-point Raptor lead. Toronto's gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Harden gets a screen from Johnson. Johnson with a screen on Leonard. Johnson sets the screen for Harden. Johnson the screen. It's Harden with the drive. Blocked. Here's Leonard. No good. And a tight game here as we end the first half. The and now, brought to you by Sprint. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. Here we go now, the start of the third quarter, welcoming you back in a closely contested first half so far. A fantastic game from Derrick Rose in this one. It didn't take long to see what kind of game he was going to have today. He came out very aggressively and had a terrific first half. You know, you look at his shot chart, it's all draped up. I mean, he's right at the rim. He's driving the lane again and again. Well, we've got a moment. Let's set the floor. Brought to you by Gatorade All Field Up for the second half. Setting the floor for the Raptors. Johnson in at the three. Jonas Valanciunas is out there with Payne. Then it's Harden, and it's Thomas in at the point. Passes it to Payne. He dishes it to Harden. Here's Johnson, and two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. It's on Thaddeus Young. Well, you allow them to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. Yeah, I think you got to foul them, and free throws are better than a layup. So Johnson hits two of them. Well done again. He doesn't have the same problems at the line that plagues some of the NBA's other big men. Fareed a screen on Thomas. And it's Rose penetrating. Leonard kicks to Rose. No good from outside. Raptors leading by four. Payne with a screen for Harden. Harden draws the double. Payne pass to Valanciunas. There's the dish to paint. Feeds it to Johnson. There's the pass to Thomas. Fires from the wing. That's good on the jump shot. Thomas got his first basket. Wow, he was just wide open there. That's way too easy. Harden against Ellis. He passes to Young. He feeds it to Rose. Here's the teardrop. And the layup is good. Rose has got 14. They've got to continue to put pressure on the defense by probing inside. That's what's really working for them. And when you're doing the job they are inside, it takes pressure off the perimeter guys. It's deflected. 
And that's out of bounds. Toronto will retain possession. And a look here at the most accurate shooting guards in the NBA this season. Second is DeMar DeRozan. And of course, James Harden. Just ask this group. Sometimes when you're hot, you're hot. And it's a comforting feeling for a coach to know you've got one of those guys roaming the perimeter. And not just on the perimeter. I mean, all of these players drive the lane very effectively. Yeah, they're excellent outside shooters, but it's getting to the rim and finishing in close quarters that puts those percentages as high as they are. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, that's right. Kevin, the offense has basically been running in place. They got to get going. For Chicago, they have looked good at the line. Today. They're perfect in four attempts. And as a club, they're kind of in the middle of the pack in the NBA in terms of their free throw shooting. About 76%. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Thomas again throws. Harden kicks to Thomas. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Thomas got five points now this quarter. You know, their three-point shooting since halftime is about as good as you could possibly ask for, guys. Now's the time to put the pedal to the metal, boys. Keep firing those deep balls and build that lead up. Now, here is Young. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. That's good. This is, guys, he shot a very good percentage today, and they've needed it. Thomas off a pick from Johnson. Johnson with a screen on Rose. Here's Thomas. They get it back. The second chance effort. Alan Junis. Good. Well, something special about him, guys, is just how good he is at winning the so-called second shot game, going hard to the offensive left, salvaging points with his putbacks. And something else you can't forget about is his shot blocking, Steve. I mean, he's an intimidator down low. One of the oldest plays in basketball made that dunk possible. That's right. A terrific screen right there, Steve. Allowed him to lose his man and rock it to the rim. Now, don't you love to see players working together in that, that fundamental play? Fun to watch. Johnson. He's covered by Leonard. Johnson kicks to Harden. And there's the feed to Thomas. Johnson sends the screen for Thomas. Rose with the block. And he gets it to go. Well, they're now plus five in the rebound category, really controlling the glass. And rebounding is one of those non-glamour stats. I mean, it takes work and effort and tenacity and physicality. Um, but when you look at the scoreboard, you can see the correlation. Here's Rose. After the made shot from Jonas Valanciunas, there's a whistle. Hard to on the wing. Johnson with a screen on Ellis. DeRozan gets a screen from Johnson. And DeRozan, here we go. And stolen by Parsons. Outside Gordon. He kicks to Ellis. Wide open look. That's good. Ellis has got four points in the quarter. Raptors leading by eight. Johnson with a screen on Gordon. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Raptors. Their high energy defensive effort has paid off for them, guys, with more than a few steals over the course of the ball game. And I love their hustle because they're getting a lot of second chance opportunities just as a result of playing hard. Kenneth Fareed, he's checked in for Chicago. Ellis with it. Now guarded by DeRozan. Dishes it to Gordon. Rebound by the Raptors. Johnson's got four rebounds now tonight. Next step for them, the Knicks coming out here to play. That'll be the latter half of this two-game homestand. And DeRozan. Here we go. Rebound by the Bulls. Some rugged defense there against one of the stronger finishers in the game. Great move to the hoop, and I love the finger roll finish. Raptors with the lead. 55 seconds left here in the third quarter. Vasquez gets a screen from Johnson. Kicks it to Henson. Pass to Vasquez. Shot clock at six. From 11 feet away, and it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. 
Grievous. Yeah, he got whacked. Shouldn't be much debate on that one. Yeah, that was as straightforward as it gets, guys. Some changes for Toronto. Jonas Valanciunas, who's checked in for Johnson. And it's Isaiah Thomas in for John Henson. And Vasquez drops them both. And at the free throw line, it's all about consistency with him. Same routine, same stroke. Ellis with it. Now, Thomas defending. Ellis kicks to Gordon. Blocked, but he stays with it. Trains the three-pointer. Gordon's got five points so far. Raptors leading by seven. Johnson with a screen on Gordon. Johnson the screen. Thomas dishes to Vasquez. Back to Thomas. Trying to come right back with a three of his own. But it's no good. Here's Leonard. Got it off in time, but it's no good. And we've reached the end of the third. Playoff spots going in the balance. Well, welcome back as we get set to start the fourth. Bulls trail by seven. So for Chicago right now, Kawhi Leonard is out there with Young. Then there's Ellis. Then there's Derrick Rose. And it's Fareed in at the five spot. Here's Leonard. Count the bucket. Leonard's got the fourth quarter started here with a bucket for Chicago. Well, they were sleeping on defense. The defense really didn't do its job. I mean, a little slow to react to the ball getting into the paint. That's costly. Well, and at this stage of such a tight game, I think this is when tired legs start to show. And the defense can become vulnerable in the low block. Now, it looks like he's starting to get things going here after that scoreless first half. Kicks it out to Ellis. Rose against Thomas. Back to Ellis. From outside the arc. The shot is off. So the Raptors will take it the other way. Thomas with the ball. And Rose picks him up defensively. Thomas passes to Johnson. Harden left side. Six on the shot clock. Outside Thomas. Shoots the three. That doesn't go either for Thomas. If he can improve on what's been a shaky day for him thus far, they could stretch this lead out. Ellis kicks to Young. Back to Ellis. Ellis left side. The kick out to Rose. Shoots from 14. No good off the back of the rim. Toronto leading by eight. Johnson attacking. Here's Harden on the wing. Johnson sets the screen for Harden. Harden gets a screen from Johnson. And the whistle blows as the basket counts. And a three-point play chance right here. On free throw coming up. Chandler Parsons is checked in for Kawhi Leonard. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Well, guys, Tom Thibodeau had some advice for his team in that last timeout. He's not pleased with the careless turnovers offensively. He's saying, listen, we've got to get shots. It's as simple as that. We have to play smart and value the basketball. Kevin, get it sink in. Here is Harden. Johnson dishes to Valanciunas. Johnson kicks it out to Harden. Raptors moving the ball around. Thomas passes to Payne. Back to Thomas. Fires the three. And he gets it to go. Thomas got 11 in the second half. Boy, I tell you what, he loves getting looks like that from the three-point line. No one near him. That's a warm-up jumper for him. Ellis kicks to Young. Parsons up top. Passes it to Ellis. He dishes it to Young. Feeds to Rose. Just five on the clock. And Fareed the bucket on the assist by Rose. And that's now six points for Kenneth Fareed. Raptors leading by ten. Johnson sets the screen for Harden. Harden right side. And so it looks like the Raptors will retain possession here. Still Raptors ball. Nine seconds on the shot. Johnson dishes to Harden. Six to shoot. 
Johnson with a screen on Ellis. Harden, no good. Now he was right there, but the defensive pressure forced that miss. Well contested. That really made it a tough shot. And Parsons kicks to Rose. Offside Rose. Another one falls for Chicago. He shouldn't be afraid to take that shot more often. He's solid from there. Toronto's gone 5 of 10 from downtown tonight. 50% exactly. Johnson kicks to Payne. Harden outside. Pass to Payne. Back to Harden. Five to shoot. He drains it as the shot clock ticks down. Harden's got 19 points. And his stroke is being dead on inside, outside, wherever. The shot's just falling for him. Fareed setting the pick for Rose. Upside Rose. Rose with another miss. Toronto leading by 10. Johnson goes in. Here's Valanciunas. Second chance shot. They shoot again. And it's good on the way in. Boy, where was the box out? Too easy on that second chance opportunity. Yeah, no box out is what happened there. Those kind of mistakes on the glass will kill the team. And yes, sir, that one drops. Here is Harden. Harden gets a screen from Johnson. Johnson sets the screen for Harden. There's the dish to Johnson. Stolen by Fareed. Last break, here comes Chicago. Parsons got the ball. Ellis can't get it to go. Toronto's gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Harden gets a screen from Johnson. Stolen by Ellis. Oh, and here we go. Ellis has got it. The fast break chance. The feather touch on the finger roll. Beautiful. And the defense just lets him go there. And once he hit the open floor, there was no looking back. Straight to the rack. Where was he going with that Leonard. pass? I mean, that's just an awful turnover. Kawhi Leonard is checked in for Chicago. Outside Rose. Back to Leonard. 14 feet away. And he hits the jump shot. They got on this roll a while ago, and they just haven't looked back. In Toronto, they've gone five for nine from the field in the final quarter so far. Thomas passes to Johnson, to the paint. Leonard with the steal. And here is Ellis. That's good. And now it's just a four-point Raptor lead. Things are really tightening up now, guys. Their offense has become unstoppable. Not sure where it was before, but better late than never. Now here's Payne. Back to Harden. Johnson with a screen on Ellis. Harden dishes to Johnson. Lock at six. Down low. Valencianus. That's good, and Johnson with the assist. Alan Junis has got four this quarter. He's locked in right now, guys. Hitting some big shots here in the fourth quarter. Rose with the ball. Back to Fareed. And that one's good. And it feels like the energy has just picked up big time here. Both teams now feeding off each other's intensity. I don't know what was said in the locker rooms at halftime, Steve, but it's obvious both sides have responded well. Here's Payne. Following the basket by Kenneth Fareed. Payne kicks to Johnson. And the pass to Thomas. It's Harden with the drive. And out of bounds is Chicago gains possession. Chicago calls timeout. They're behind by four. A minute 42 left in the fourth quarter. Outside Rose. Three setting the pick for Rose. And he comes off the screen and slams it through. Boy, that's some physical basketball out there. I'm glad I'm not in the middle of that. <laughs> a hard pick and an assault on the buck. Old school stuff there. <laughs> yeah, there is a lot to like on that play. 
Now, here's Thomas. Johnson, the pass to Valanciunas. And out of bounds as the Bulls gain possession. One sixteen left here in the fourth quarter. Rose against Thomas. Rose dishes to Fareed. He nails it, and we're tied up. Fareed's got six here in this quarter. His shooting has been good, but overall, I think his output has been somewhat limited. The defense really keeping him from getting the number of shots he'd like. Harden kicks to Thomas. Thomas off a pick from Johnson. Back to Harden. From downtown! A shot misses. A clear look at the hoop. He doesn't miss many of those. Rose up on top to take the lead. Swing against the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Excellent game we've seen from Derrick Rose. He's got 24 points and seven assists. Good contribution for him offensively with the assist and also making some nice deals. You're right, Clark. He's been equal parts creative and disruptive. Now, here is Harden. Sinks it. He has tied up this game. Oh, what a shot. Man, they're getting a fantastic effort from James Harden. 26 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Thomas again throws. Young outside. Shot clock at six. Leonard. Ooh, off wide. Had a pretty good look at the basket, but defensively they did a nice job rotating, forcing the miss. Harden up top. Oh, and he had a chance to win it right there, but couldn't get it to fall. We've got overtime action now, folks. Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, Doris Burke on our sideline, and this is Kevin Harley. All fueled up and ready to go to overtime basketball here. Brought to us by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. Taking a look at the Bulls. We've got Kawhi Leonard. Ellis is out there at Derrick Rose. Then it's Young. And it's Fareed in at the five down low. Here is Harden. Johnson with a screen on Ellis. Harden with it. Leonard picks him up. Harden the pass to Valanciunas, and he gets it to go. Valanciunas has got the first basket here in overtime for Toronto. Chicago trailing here. Outside Rose. Kicks it out to Ellis. Ellis right side. Shot clock at five. A stupendous finish in traffic. Ellis has got 19 points. You know, they've been so effective when they've been able to get the ball inside. Some real shortcomings from this defense. I mean, they've given up five straight looks in the paint. Misses off the right iron. Well, I tell you what, that's too good a look to pass up there. Even though it didn't go, that's one you got to take. Rose against Thomas. Rose dishes to Fareed. Back to Rose. Baseline jumper. No luck. Good D by Thomas. You know, they haven't been able to open up a big lead, but the rebounds are starting to add up for them. They may be able to pull away a little bit. Yeah, they've been doing the dirty work inside, Steve, playing a very tough brand of basketball. The first free throw is good. And Johnson drops them both. No problem for him there. You just know what the result's going to be when he steps to the line in a tight game like this. Thomas again throws. Lays it up and banks it in. Rose has got 28 points for the game. Guys, he's one of the main reasons this game is tied up. I mean, he's done his part to keep them in it. Thomas again throws. Johnson kicks to Harden. Johnson sets the screen for Harden. Payne. He feeds it to Thomas. A three-pointer off the mark. He 
kicks to Rhodes. Outside Rhodes. Back to Ellis to take the lead. Yes, and it's Rose with the assist that time. And now a three-point Bulls lead. The defender there in the neighborhood, but not quite close enough. Good shot. Was against Rose. Harden the pass to Johnson. Back to Harden. Rejected by Young. Now the feed to Lennon. And so he earns a trip to the line. Official saw the contact and he'll shoot two. The Raptors having lots of trouble defending against Leonard. He's got 13 points and he was able to come up with one steal too. Yeah, he's defending very well, Clark. He's disrupting the, the offense. Uh, he's playing the passing lanes, trying to put as much pressure on as possible. Two possession game now, so strategically everything changes a little bit. Those were very important foul shots. Payne kicks to Thomas. Money! And he has brought them to within two points. Oh, that is a massive shot. You know it is. He's stepping right into the spotlight. Now here's Rose. Overtime basketball, a little under three and a half minutes into it. Now uh, he's their top rebounder. He's doing an excellent job on the glass today. Well, I tell you what, I love the effort he's shown on the board today, Steve. It's been fantastic. Harden dishes for Dallin Jones. Kicks to Johnson. Pass to Dallin Junis. Back to Johnson. Some nice ball movement here by the Raptors. There's Thomas at the three. Can't get the three to fall. This is to Johnson. Harden outside. Harden gets a screen from Johnson. Harden the pass to Johnson. Good! A huge shot to tie it up. He really made that mismatch pay off. The defender giving up that much size isn't going to be able to put up much resistance near the basket. Got it up in time. Oh, and a chance to win the game, but the last second shot is up. Another tie, and we're going to have a second overtime. We'll take a quick break, then get you back to the action. Well, we thought we might wrap it up in regulation. Then it looked like overtime number one might yield a winner. But instead, the overtime periods are piling up. And guys, still no winner yet. Now Thomas following the miss by Ellis from deep. Johnson with a screen on Ellis. Harden. And he misses the go-ahead basket. Really good offensive execution. Nice pick. Just couldn't get the shot to go. Boy, you love to see that as a basketball purist. Guy setting a good screen and then getting the shot opportunity. That's good. And that's now 30 points for Derrick Rose. Toronto's gone 6 of 14 with the three ball tonight. Just a little over 40%. Upside Thomas. He passes it to Payne. Feeds the heart. Upside Thomas. Six to shoot. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. Boy, that was impressive. Major height disadvantage, but he still got the shot up over his man. Well, he's got the poise to handle any matchup, and he's not easily intimidated. You can see that there. Ellis guarded by Hart. Leonard attacking. And Fareed, the bucket on the assist from Leonard. And 12 points for Kenneth Fareed. Sharp pass to give his teammate the high percentage shot in close. Johnson sets the screen for Thomas. Pass to Harden. He dishes it to paint. And that'll be Toronto as it goes out of bounds. Raptors retain possession. Count that one. He had that play ready to go. Well done on the inbound. And to the Bulls, uh, you know, shooting has been outstanding in this game at 58%. Rose kicks to Ellis. Ellis right side. 
Here's Perrine. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. He's a grinder. Love what he does under the offensive boards. Really bringing energy and life to his team. Thomas goes in. Gives him the lead pass. Valencia and it's... That's in there. Thomas with the assist. Alan Jones has got four points this quarter. He had his head on the swivel and was able to pick out the pass and get the assist. And to Leonard. This one for three. Here's Free. Johnson with the block. And he gets it back. And that one's good. 16 points for Kenneth Free. Toronto trailer. Harden gets a screen from Johnson. He hits Harden with the drive. Here's Valanciunas. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. That's some tenacity inside, battling for the second chance points. The bucket to tie with the D all over him, and then the free throw to give them the lead. Just a fantastic play all around. Here's Rose. Yep, right through the net. Rose has got 32 points in the game. All the buckets he's poured in today have put them in a terrific position heading into the stretch. Harden with it. Picked up by Ellis. Seven-foot shot. No good from Valanciunas. Here's Chicago. They lead by one. Leonard dishes to Ellis. Back to Leonard. Rose. Thaddeus Young on the wing. For three. Leases one from three. A wide open three. They need much better communication defensively. Three second difference between shot clock and game clock. And taken away by Ellis. And so they choose to intentionally foul. That's his second personal foul. Second to here is Rose, and now they decide to foul intentionally. He drops the first one, and that puts them up by five. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a six-point ball game. And as long as they continue to do this kind of work at the foul line, the lead should be safe. Harden the pass to Valanciunas. Right side, Thomas. Looking to end the run. Knocks down the trifecta. And now an intentional foul. They need the ball back as soon as possible. Now you can't let them pound the ball and just milk those precious seconds away. No other option here but to foul and hope for a few misses at the line. And so both free throws are good. And it's a five-point game. And you can wrap this one up. Great job to stay cool at the line and polish it off. And here's Harden for three. Nothing fancy about that play. Just good hard-nosed basketball. They're all in the board. And so it's Chicago winning this one. Look, a double overtime game can really take its toll on the... It can't be easy to lose a game when you have the kind of performance you did tonight. What did you have to say to the team in the locker room afterwards? Uh, I mean, I didn't say a lot. I let coach do most of the talking. Sometimes it's not my place to give a speech, and tonight didn't feel like one of those situations. I have a couple things I know I need to work on, but I was pretty happy with my game overall, so it made sense to let Coach focus on what he thought we didn't do well. And believe me, he's happy to let us know. We need these kind of experiences to get better, though, you know? So hopefully in the long term, this game ends up being a small step in the right direction, despite the fact that we lost.